Hey, and welcome to Craftworks by G, where we do everything and anything and hope to inspire. Today we'll be making a handlebar bag for a motorcycle. Now, my roommate commissioned this to me and let's see how it goes. I've never made one of these, so let's go! All right, before we get into this, if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And more importantly, share the love. We all trying to get better here. Stay tuned to the end to see it put on on the bike. First off, we're going to measure and cut out the pieces that we will be using. For this video, I decided to show snippets of real-time speed. So if you are interested in leatherworking, you have a basic idea of how fast it is. This is a long video, so I will have timestamps for y'all. We are cutting up some 4 to 6 ounce veg tan leather right here. Black EcoFlow dye. There's really no special trick to this. Just put on the dye. If you want to do a second layer or third layer, go ahead and do so. I only just did one layer. And here we have the suede that's going to be used as the liner of the bag. Alright, so now we're going to be putting on the contact cement. Now, if you are doing this 
indoors you're going to want some ventilation here it's gonna woo, it's gonna be pretty woozy if you don't have any uh, ventilation just apply the contact cement onto both sides of whatever you want to stick together and wait a couple minutes and you'll know when it is ready to be used when it feels tacky and dry After the cement is all dried up, then we can start sticking things together. Now when you stick things together, you're going to want to be precisely sure about where you're placing it. After placing it, you're going to want to put some pressure on it, in this case, a heavy object. Just a little advice here or tip. The larger the piece that you're going to glue up together, the harder it is going to line things up. Now we'll be cutting up the excess suede material. And these are the main pieces for the bag. What you do not see are the strap pieces. Right here we are scribing up the stitch line. And all you gotta do is repeat this for all the planned stitching that you're going to do. Here we are starting to punch the sewing holes. I'm actually using a granite pastry board. <laughs> for the foundation and that white thing is just a cutting board that you could get from the any store if you have trouble taking the punches out if you have any wax or beeswax or something you can loop them up with that and it'll be easier to take off now I am measuring out how far the stitch line is going to be for the main body piece. Right here, cutting up the strap pieces. This is a tuck clasp, the locking mechanism that we will be using. Right here we are beveling the leather edges so the leather edges go from a squared off face to a smoother face. It also makes it easier to seal the edges when they are burnished or edge painted. I just used a slot punch to make the hole for the buckle.
Now edge paint all of your pieces. I'm just using a Q-tip with the black dye. I am scratching up the leather here for better adhesion with the contact cement. Do this for all points of contact. Now I'm clamping this up. If you have a clamp with jagged edges, I highly recommend you put like scrap pieces of leather in between so it does not mar up your piece. So even though this scrap buckle is cemented on, I still like to sew it just for that extra security. And that's what we're doing here, punching the holes and sewing. All the stitching that you see in this video, I use the saddle stitch technique. Burn the end of the threads so they do not fray and press it in. Lining up the buckle placement.
here I realized what I could have done better or we could have done better is complete all the sewing for the main body piece and then put the suede backing on so the suede lining would help mask the stitching line excuse me the thread here we are marking up the holes for the buckle strap and punching them The camera here gets out of focus, so what I'm doing here is taking pliers and taking out a stubborn sewing needle. And now, it's time to start sewing the main pieces together. These little tuck lock clasps have these little screws that will be holding the lock together to the leather. measuring the back piece of the lock. All right, we are almost done here. So I'm using Snowproof as the sealant to protect the leather. And here we are, the final product. This is my first time making this uh, handlebar bag. Never done it before. I hope uh, everything turns out right. Now a little showcase. This is where the handlebar goes. And trying to unlock this with one hand. There we go. And there we go, the, the inside. So again, like I said 
last time. I wish I did the stitching first and then put the suede to hide the stitches. All right, so got done with the bag and now it's time to strap it up onto the motorcycle. So, yo B, you ready with the bike? Ready with the bike? You ready with the bike? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? All right, <laughs> all right, all right. There's that bike, look at that. Look at that. All right, so, hopefully I did the dimensions right. All right, let's grab it up. Damn, it is, it's windy right now. Snug up now. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Sweet. All right. There it is. It's all attached. Let me uh, go through this. And open. All right. So, thank you for watching. And remember, it's never too late to learn and create. Peace.